please hit the subscribe button for more content. Hello there, welcome to this video from footballbetdata.com. I uh, wanted to bring you something similar to the racing videos because it has uh, led to a few people saying, wow, I like what you've done there with the racing. Is it possible to do similar with the football? Absolutely it is. We've already done a previous video um, on the channel, uh, which you'll be able to link to in the above there. Uh, if you haven't already seen it to go back, but let's go through it again and show you exactly the same as what I've done before. Um, all of the data pulled through into a power query. So, you know, we're rinse and repeats the same thing. I don't want to have to keep doing the same videos to show you the same thing. It makes no sense. So if you haven't already watched those videos on power query, go into the channel, put in the search bar power query and those videos will come up. It doesn't actually matter if you watch one of my videos on power query, there are plenty out there, but obviously the ones that we've done or I've done are specific to the data. So the football data or the horse racing data, but essentially you load um, historic data into the data model. From there, you can build your pivot tables. From there, you can make a nice fancy dashboard with slices and other controls. Uh, and from there, you can hone in and look at possible scores and how you play them. That's entirely up to you, whether you use a similar approach for horse racing, uh, i.e. backing a range of correct scores uh, with the aim of trading out should you hit a, um, a value in play so for instance you could pick here so i'm looking at the luton versus west brom game today uh, or tonight uh, now obviously the closer to the kickoff the better the same as horse racing the closer to the off time the better because your odds are going to be accurate i'm looking at this from a bookmaker perspective because i've got more odds in the database than i have for the uh, for the betfair market and to be honest, as I've said before in the other videos, it doesn't matter whether we're looking at Betfair or Bookmaker Odds. What we're trying to determine here are games of a similar makeup. So as long as you're comparing today's bookmaker prices with historic bookmaker prices, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you're going to be placing a bet or a trade on the Betfair exchange. We're trying to make a comparison to similar matches that have, gone, uh, have taken place in the past. Exactly the same as the horse racing, where we were looking at races of similar makeup. So that's the, the race type, the distance, the number of runners. Here, what we're using as the deciding factors are the average over two and a half goal um, odds and picking a range, uh, the home odds. Uh, and then we've also got controls around the league, the team, the, or the home team, the season uh, and the dates as well. Uh, so what I filter in and out is entirely up to to myself and the same for anybody who wants to design or build something similar again this video is just to give you an idea and a visual as to the sort of thing that you can use our data to build and develop for your own personal use um, so Luton bit of an anomaly really because you can see historically going back to the so I've got the last uh, 12 years or 12 seasons worth of data they've played in every one of the top five top five professional top four professional leagues plus the conference um, so you could argue, well, we don't want to look at uh, games from the conference or the Premiership, Premier League, sorry. Uh, we just want to look at games they've played in the Championship, in which case you can click on that and the slicer will then filter those down to just games in the Championship. Now, to my mind, we're looking at the, um, the over two and a half odds, uh, as well as the, um, the, book, the, the, the home odds for Luton Town. So that's enough for me to decide how they have performed. Okay, it's gonna be a completely different set of players, potentially a different stadium, um, but we're looking at that same team, how they performed in home games when their matches have met this criteria. Um, so if I uh, scroll back up here, Luton. So what we have current currently, and you can get these odds, these are the average bookmaker odds. So whether you know, use FOTMOB or flash scores, um, Football 24, um, Odds Checker, whatever it is that you use to get the um, up-to-date odds, or even if it's just a certain bookmaker, it, it doesn't really matter as long as you're, you're, you're analysing consistently. This gives us the, I've inputted their home odds as they are at the moment. So uh, mid, just gone one o'clock in the afternoon, so still six hours from, six, seven hours from kickoff. So Luton, where they've been home, odds are 2.77. Um, the average over two and a half market is, um, they're currently priced at 1.93. So what I do is break these in, down into uh, quartiles. So I'll go from 1.76 to two. 
Uh, again, it's entirely up to you how you would do that. Um, you might use 10 above, 10 below. Um, certainly if they were priced at 1.98, you think, well, is that more relevant to be looking at 1.76 compared to a 2.02? Uh, but that's just the way I, I use it. Um, so I've filtered it by, by Luton. We've got, uh, this is the denominator. We've filtered out games where the over two and a half market doesn't meet the, um, the, the quartile I've got here, 176 to two, and we've got all leagues on. Now what this shows you here on the heat map are the most likely scores uh, st statistically uh, in order where we've got green are our home wins, blues are the way win, and the uh, orange is the draw. And then the games that we've got closer to this zero are where Luton's home odds have been 2.77 or within 5%. So under 5%, over 5%. And then the further away you get from these, the home odds have been um, significantly higher in this case or significantly lower as you move down here. So the further away from uh, Luton's home odds are 2.77 uh, is where these blobs are placed. Uh, and where they're shaded slightly as well, that means that the, so here the home odds were 20% or more different than they are today, where we've got the shading here, the away odds uh, were 20% or more different away from what they are today. Uh, same with the home win down there. Um, so what this allows you to do is look at the most common scores in a grouping. So we'd probably be looking into this range. You're looking at your one alls, um, Two one away win, three one away win is a nil nil. There's not actually a home win within that um, sort of ten percent either side, so that could be something to look at. Uh, all of the home wins have sort of been fifteen percent or more away from today's prices. Um, if we scroll down slightly, we'll be able to see uh, these are just totals of the of the above, and then a breakdown. So we've got the heat map profit loss. So these are the twenty. Uh, or 30 games that we've got closest to the, um, the the odds of today, the home odds of today. And then we've got the total prof profit and loss, which are 89 games. So these are the games, um, all of the games that Luton have played in where um, the, the over two and a half price has been between 1.76 and two. Um, the ones that are not shown on here, the, their home odds are even further away than the ones that we are displaying on this sheet. So even drastically higher, drastically lower. Uh, we could also filter in the score prediction. So the FBD score prediction, whether we're predicting a home win, an away win or a draw, 2-2, uh, two, two, I believe this one's predicted to be today. You could use that as a um, an influencer as well. Um, and then we can, look, I was just talking about the heat map profit and the profit and loss. So you can see here that actually backing the draw on both of these has shown profit based on the heat map. So the games closest to the um, odds makeup of today, slight profit, but in all of the games, if you back the away team, it would have been an overall loser. Uh, under two and a half is also profitable. Um, and both teams to score, no, it's profitable there, but not there. So what that drags the eye towards is what we've seen here. So the 1-1, uh, the, one -one, the nil nil, uh, the nil two potentially for the away win um, and then you start looking at these higher scores but if we look at the over two and a half that has not historically been a profitable approach so one angle you could look to use here for the Luton West Brom game would be to back uh, 0 2 1 2 1 3 1 1 uh, and then look to trade out once the odds met a certain level you could either green up or you could remove liability again that is entirely up to you as a user a bit further down, we have other methods as well. So we look at where Luton have been between this price, uh, how many, uh, and this doesn't take into account the um, <clears throat> the over goals market, but over two and a half goals market. Now you can see the profit, we've just backed Luton between this odds range at home, uh, losing strike rate, true odds, uh, value to actual, and shows the last five um, home goals last six um, or, or average goals scored in their home games and last five um, average conceded. We've also got here the heat map data. Um, you can toggle this. So if you want to show how many games had a goal for the first 10 minutes, there's three out of the 30. 
Uh, average minute of the first goal was 37 minutes in these games, 34 in all games. And then we've got a breakdown of who scores first, home team, away team, or uh, where there's a nil-nil draw, which is the three games here. Now, all of this comes, we use the goal time data as well. Again, videos on the channel about how to use goal time data. And then we've got the coefficient. So the coefficient is the differential between Luton's odds and the away odds. And where Luton's coefficient has been between 1.01 and 1.25, again, going up in quartiles, 1.09. Uh, it's been 18 games and that's an overall loser. So to me, there's nothing pointing towards a home win. So cue a 3-0 Luton win <laughs> tonight. Uh, but yeah, no, seriously, looking at this, it looks very much like there's blue, blue orange. So those would be the score lines I'd be looking to apply if you're looking um, correct score market trading. It's a live TV game, so there should be the liquidity in the market, which is always a concern for uh, for games. Whether if you're looking to to trade in running, whether or in play, whether there's enough um, liquidity in the market. Um, just to give another example, so there's another game. Big game tonight, uh, which is in Germany. So if we uh, take the filters off here, and we can, I'll just show you how this will work. So it's Bayer Leverkusen Stuttgart. Uh, if I filter down to Bayer Leverkusen, show how easy this is to do. Uh, Leverkusen, and we want to look at their odds. So they are 1.56 currently, 4.75 the draw, and 5.11 for the away win and if we just look at the other uh, nominator there which is the over two and a half 1.34 so I'd look for anything between 1.26 to 1.5 sort of more or less in the middle of that uh, they've only ever played uh, in the Bundesliga meeting these criteria so we've got by Leverkusen there and you can also filter by season so if you only wanted to see the most recent seasons as well you can obviously filter those ones out uh, excuse me sorry Bart's on oh, we've got a I've got my horse racing uh, automation running on uh, on the other on the other screen you can see how the different different sh uh, shows for, for this game uh, so a lot more green in and around this 10 percent two ones three ones other so this is where four four more um, there's a couple of bigger away defeat uh, away wins in there as well uh, and one all. So you can see there's quite a few score lines in here. That's why we need to look at the um, the heat map and the profit loss. So we're not showing any profit on the heat map if you back to all of these games. Under two and a half is showing profitable, probably to do with the fact that the, the odds are quite high. So where you get these one alls and one nils, one uh, nil ones, that's given it the profit. There's profit on the home win for all 69 games in the database uh, where um, where this makeups happened um, and then if we scroll down here there's no real value in Bayer Leverkusen um, when they're in this odds bracket um, there's no value with the denominator of 0.31 um, and then we can look at the other analysis if you're looking you know to get in later you can see what the likelihood is of a goal before 10 minutes or before 30 minutes for instance um, and that will give you an indication of how these games have performed historically. Uh, but yeah, for me, there's it looks like there's goals in this one, 2-1, 3-1, 3-2 um, even in their other. So that's um, that's what the eye is drawn to. So that's how uh, this dashboard works. Very similar. And again, it's laid out to, to my preference. But to answer the people that have been asking the question, can you do this for football? Absolutely. Um, the data is downloadable into Excel, which you can then feed into a Power Query. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more useful content.